Hello everyone. Hi. This is the bridge for the uh, infrared attached to the station. Okay. There are the infrared cameras <laughs> and weapons. A lot of like we've seen in the uh, military. Like more chairs. Medical. And also you can install, install, uh, you, install uh, you, if you can install a infrared yeah. camera on your auto. Take time, no? Yeah. You can see the... Let me ask you if the placement is closed. The man with his oh, no. Way further than any more high beam light. Well, uh, uh, it's always kind of fun. It's always kind of fun. It's always kind of fun. These are two uh, yeah. photographs of commercial oh, available you know, like so infrared cameras. But not uh, easy now. A little later than the 27th. Uh, it's not easy or later than the after. Okay. Conventional. But it also comes down to one year. If I bring the two chips, to be what is the sensor which will sense a lot of typical energy that the air will emit. Another one is like read out certain time. Read out that signal. In the conventional way, they put the metal contact on one chip. Flip it, put it on top of the readout circuit. So they have to fabricate two devices. Plus, this image is uh, a circuit. Actually, we have the sensor on it. We also have the readout circuit fabricated together. This one grows all this way. One fabrication flow, the hatch, the implant, the one flow of fabrication we do both the readout circuit and the sensor itself. Mm -hmm. So that's the advantage we have. So we save the cost of two devices. Right. We fabricate only one. Also, suppose the noise of the sensor is lower, so we don't have to put up. You see those cameras, this big thing, the for cooling. is a for cooling. So that raises the cost, and this very bulky, heavy size, everything. So the typical cost is $20,000. Yeah, the typical cost from sales. Okay. How much cheaper would our product be? Um, we haven't evaluated yet, yeah. but we don't need the cooling. Yeah. And we fabricate everything once. Yeah. So it's supposed to be a lot cheaper. I can't give you a number right now. Okay. This is a device. Actually, it's a cord, uh, uh, a square of the device attached in this chamber. You can actually see through the microscope the pins and the chips. This is pure for Yeah, I want to. <laughs> the IR detector under test. Yeah. So that's that's a poet device right there. So the, I see many small chips. You see many small chips. You can actually small. Yeah, but, but, each, but each one does it. Each has contacts. You see the contacts? Oh, the, if you zoom in, you can see a larger contact with a probe touching the surface of the metal. So each one is an IR detector? Each one is an IR detector. Okay, okay sorry. Hmm. There are links for them to read the signal when they sense the heat or the sense the intensity of that signal at a certain wavelength. See, see, this is infrared. It's like oh, two microns, three microns, four microns. That's not human like eyes yeah. Yeah. can see. So usually the visible light is like point four microns. Yeah, that is my So, what I'm looking at there is this. Similar, yeah. So each different one can sense a different frequency? Each may sense the same frequency. But this is one, uh, each single device you see is a pixel. Okay. Like you see a picture. Like, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Like this pixel happens to see the eyes. Okay. That pixel happens to see the arm, you know, things like that. Like a so so, so what, what's missing? Uh, it's not missing, it's just, this is a previous batch of device, so this is a newer one. Okay, and what's missing on there right now? What would be required to make that a commercial uh, product right now? We haven't put a readout circuit in this specific chip. Okay, but you're close? We are, we are very close. The readout circuit is not the, the key thing. The key thing is the performance of the device. There, there's, there's, there. <clears throat> 
so there's nothing else required in that chip right now other than the readout the okay. device to, uh, to function. Yeah, for this specific uh, device, uh, we don't now have this deflection grating on top of it. Okay. There's another thing I need to mention. Oh, really? Yeah. Because one critical step here is the design of diffraction grid. That to calibrate where the uh, where it's coming actually from? Actually, it's not calibrate. It's for increasing your absorption. Oh, okay. Because the infrared signal are very weak. It's hard to see. We have to amplify it. Okay. To make it uh, stronger so the device can see it. Yeah. You see, this is the design of the grid. The periodic uh, holes in the metal plate. Where is the layer of metal? put this on top of the device. Those are the image of the actual device. We see it through the SEM because the amplification of this specific microscope is not high enough. This is only like 70 times of magnification. You see the SEM here? That is thousands of times of magnification. So you can see a small feature on those holes we fabricated. But that is on another device, not on this one. Okay. You can see the two contacts. That's where the probe will make contact with. And now on the center, that's four quadrants of holes like this. The size of those holes is like 0.6 micron in diameter. It's very small. You couldn't see those holes in this microscope. Now you can see this. Now this microscope is fantastic. So you can pin the probe on the ground.